The greatest flower show on earth starts around June each year in WA's north and moves in a colourful wave southwards over the next six months. 12,000 species, 60% of which are found nowhere else on earth. There's a wildflower hotspot about 180 k's north of Perth. You can do it as a day trip. Best time, November. I'm a tad early, thought you might like the planning inspiration. My destination is the town of Wongan Hills. In the middle of a sea of farmland is an area of vegetation which has never been cleared. It's an island of native flora and fauna, and the best viewing spot of the district is from the top of Mount O'Brien. And once you've had a read of all the information about this lookout, it won't just be the breathtaking views of the countryside and the lakes putting a smile on your face. A quirky fact that some of you may find amusing, Mount O'Brien used to be known as Mount Dick. I can't imagine why they made the change. Back to those wildflowers and Reynoldson's Reserve, 20 k's north of town, is like the holy grail of destinations for anyone hoping to see verticordia or feather flowers. Just a few out at the moment. As I said at the start, I'm a tad early. Come here in November, perfect timing. That's when the town holds its Verticordia Festival right here in the reserve. In the meantime, let's go for a walk. Keep your eyes on the ground. Because some of the terrestrial orchids are already out. In fact, Wongan Hills has more than 1,400 species of flowering plants. You'll need a bit of help to find them all, so stop, ask a local, and not just about wildflowers. Remember, when you come out to see the wildflowers, there are loads of other treasures just waiting to be discovered. And you can see them all year round. The heritage listed original Wongan Hills Hospital was built in 1930. Today it houses the community's history from an original settler's cottage to the local doctor's rooms. It's manned by members of the local historical society, including archivist Chris. And there's one room in which she has a particular interest. Quentin, this is our archive room of the Wongan Hills Museum and it has all the records of the district. People love coming through Wongan and finding a link. One example, a few weeks ago, a lady came back. She remembered growing up over east with the name of a farm on the front of the house, but she didn't know the history of it and then found out it was the name of the farm that was on the farm gate about 10 k's out of town. Oh. I took her out there after finding her original farm on the map and she was very emotional and she collected a little bit of sand from the paddock and took it home. So that's the sort of story that happens from the records in this very special room. We came looking for wildflowers in Wongan Hills and look at what else we've found. Sometimes the best parts of travel are the unexpected delights. Oh, and by the way, Chris does know a few things about wildflowers. 